So whilst there's a lot of people saying Ross Console is thriving and has been revived due to community servers, there's also a lot of the community saying the opposite, saying it's killed the game and what it's like to play the game Rust, a survival based game. And whilst yes, I do see a lot of players playing community servers and not as many playing on vanilla servers which is a given we already knew that was going to come i do also agree that community servers has somewhat killed off a few or a large part of the community there could have easily been a lot of new players playing ross console due to community servers and a lot of people leaving the game because of them as well i mean community servers basically takes out the whole survival bare bones aspect of the game and this was something d11 were aware of Pedro Silva in an interview with Serial Overdrive stated that they didn't want to make too much of a customization within community servers and other updates in general because they wanted to keep it bare bones as possible within the survival based game that Rust Console is and always has been. And this isn't something that Face Punch yep. does. Um. Yeah, we, we operate uh, a little bit like uh, differently when it comes to, to Face Punch uh, in that regard. Yeah. Because they, they, they do have community servers. So literally, it's up to the community to create whatever they like and what they want. Um, our our thing is like, we don't want to take away too much from the main, from the core Rust experience, right? The whole, like, yeah, just the, the monthly wipe type of thing, which is like that how how Rust was created to be played. Um so yeah, that's 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 our like main focus right when you saw big bases on vanilla servers you were like fuck i'm getting offline now when you see them you're kind of like eh, yeah big base but obviously we're on a three time so it's pretty easy to upkeep that i'm straying away from the point my point is i get both sides of the fence as to why people think ross console has been revived and why it's still on the decline and is dying however i get a lot of comments basically saying how come you don't play anymore or some people think i failed as a content creator playing the game I make actual content. He tried that, he failed because he's ass at the game. And most importantly, I want to know why you have either come back to the game or why you've quit for now until further updates appear. Because I'm going to be completely honest, I don't even put, let's say, two to three hours a day, let alone the six hours I used to play way back when, a couple months ago, on the game. So first and foremost, let me address any of the comments that basically say I'm a failed player or it didn't work out for me. So it's occurred to me that I've got a completely different community on this YouTube channel than I have on my TikTok channel. Two different communities, and to be fair, I really do like it, just chatting and basically seeing how people differ from TikTok and YouTube. And as well, I could probably have more of a conversation on YouTube. It feels like there's an older audience, which I do appreciate. But if you don't know, I basically own or part of the most known Rust console team on the game. Long story short, a couple of us that know each other in real life started playing Rust console and basically then just picked up players along the way that we would chill with. Some people we hated at first, and then we got to know them and thought, these are actually cool people. Some people we've met even real life off this game. And we've had this team seeing QR, which is further known as Conquer. We've had this team going since beta. Now, talking about the present day, not many of us play it anymore. A lot of us play other games because Rust just isn't what it was two years ago or even a year and a half ago but here you will see that i've made so many videos that have racked up a lot of views 10k each easily the most being 50 and do you know what's crazy about this this was all a legit team we were going through teams that were cheating or we were playing within an era that was still nearly not as bad as it is now but was sort of bad and we were making videos and trying to keep up with what we could in terms of pvp however a lot of us were kind of thinking the game's pretty stale and we we're waiting for community servers to come out that's when we would bring the team back and basically have a whole lot of fun like we did when we first started playing this game and when community servers dropped did we have that fun like we did let's say a year and a half ago no so i stopped doing team content because number one the community that we had for cnqr the community was there for the team and not so much there for the individual and it feels like you're closer connected to let's say me for example because i'm solely talking to you the viewer through obviously the screen or computer screen whatever device you're watching on and we kind of agree over certain opinions and you're kind of like yeah this guy's cool whereas playing as a team you kind of get to know each individual but you're never connected to solely one person that was one thing i was finding hard and difficult when creating these videos number two a lot of hard work went into these videos getting povs from everyone and reminding everyone each day to collect your povs so for anything to do with the story i can then basically talk and narrate over the gameplay that they've recorded it was a lot of work more work than anyone could possibly think these solo creators yes sure it might be a bit harder because you're playing solo 
Number one, there's more content that comes out of that. And number two, it's less work in the long run, whereas if you're running a team. This is why, for example, you don't see any other team YouTube channels out there. CNQR was pretty much the only one that was one, successful, and two, kept on going. And as well, the quality of videos, I didn't feel like people appreciated that. And it felt like these videos came too soon for the community. And uh, an important thing that I even spoke with Obi is that whilst quality does really matter within your content, it was the quantity that was more important at this current stage. And right now, with you guys and obviously picking up new viewers each and every single day when I upload these videos, it's apparent that yes, good, decent quality within videos, but keeping it consistent at least one or twice every other day actually is working. So that's why I quit making content in terms of as a player playing within a team. No, it's not because I failed. I had a lot of fun and along the way, you see the success that the videos have had and being an owner and a founder of one of if not the most known rust console team on the game I, that's not a fail by any stretch of the imagination he failed because he's ass at the game anyone who says that is just waffling but here's why i kind of quit playing rust console i'm more of an admin of my servers than a player it's simply down to just how everything is at the moment with the community and where the game's at community service has been a huge kind of, there's more negatives towards community servers then there is positives and you guys know this you definitely don't need me to just list out all of the negatives and positives surrounding community servers you guys probably know it as well but the important thing that i've noticed as to why i fell out with just really loving this game is that it was just not pvp driven the task was to not even actually worry about anyone else you would just get your base up you do card runs, you get as much loot as possible, you'd have PvP fights at launch and basically flex who is better. Whilst now it's like face checks and hip firing, like I, I, I really, I can't understand how we've gotten to this state. I'd be lying if I said cheating isn't the thing that ruined this game, because it did. Because I still feel like I'd really enjoy playing this game if everyone was legit and playing how they play. You wouldn't have the face check matters or any of that shit. You'd just be playing the game and anyone that was cracked you would definitely know that they're cracked. You wouldn't even think that they're cheating. You'd be like, holy shit, this player is the best player I've ever played against. And then you would have sort of YouTube channels or TikTok pages posting about legit settings and not have someone showing you one thing, which is a lie, and then them actually playing on another thing because they're covering up that they're either Zim or Zen. The cheating I could somewhat kind of just get past, somewhat, even though it's worse now, probably wouldn't actually play, but it's a lot worse now and I find it sometimes having a headache playing this game, especially in launch when you're just getting beamed from half a grid away and anyone that's kind of like, oh they're legit, you just need to get good, like, I, some people just like to cope and that, that's the way to do it. Another thing is community servers drove me away from actually playing this game, it's not the fact that is modded and it's not as survival i do love the survival based aspect but it's the fact that kind of everyone knows each other you don't really come up against players that we've found in our experience and been like oh okay these guys have got a huge base they're raiding everyone maybe we need to take them out or we're going to be next we kind of know what everyone's going to do and we know most people because the community is so tight-knit and that's the thing as well with community servers it's actually just driven away the community to play against each other where there's only you know i would say 10 to 15 servers that are queued to like 100 pop and then there's so many servers which are like two or three pop and they're dead. The community player base is just so widespread over these servers now that, you know, it's it's pretty hard to play against different people. I'm also I appreciate the community I and the team have built within our CNQR Warfare servers. Some of the teams I would love to play against in vanilla servers when we didn't have these. I do believe it's beyond the reason of the game being stale. I don't think the game's stale. I just kind of fallen out of love for it in the sense of grinding. There's no such grind in the game anymore. And I'll be the first to admit, I advocated having community servers since day dot, and I wanted D11 to kind of run the community servers. Whilst it would have been great, and I would have loved to, you know, do what I do without community servers, I do think it would have run better if there was like 10 to 15, like 2x, 3x, or 1.5x servers, solo duo, quad, up to Zerg servers, that were run by D11, so there would be no other basic settings or mods that people would do. It would just be like, come in, this is the loot, this is the stacked and everything like that, and play the game. But because obviously community servers are so fresh within the game, everyone's just boosting and modding and doing this and that with their servers. They're trying to basically find out the best way to run a server and finding what fits best for their community. Because right now everyone's just like, oh, do we go 3x or do we go 1.5x? Do we go solo quad or solo duo? There's so much to pick from that people are like, 
where do I start? So that's sort of another thing that drove me away, especially from playing. And I just don't have time nowadays with doing content and with running the servers. I just simply don't have time to put in six to ten hours. I, I actually, it's actually disgusting that we used to put that much hours into this game. But if you weren't playing the game for the first five wipes, you missed out. But hey, if you've come back to the game, when community servers dropped, if you quit or you're a newcomer, let me know your best moments so far and why did you come back and are you satisfied with how community servers are running or has it been the opposite for you? You loved playing the game but now you're kind of like it's not the same as it was. Let me know what you think in the comment section but this is why I've stopped playing the game like I used to, not because I failed at content creating or anything like that. Whether I'm bad or good is subjective, but if you're legit playing in a dominated era of just cheating, then I don't think any legit player should be slated. Also, it appears that we're going to be getting a Rust console roadmap for 2024, either tomorrow or the day after. We're going to be definitely covering that. I'm also contacted the person that I'd like to join me for the first episode of the podcast or whatever it's going to be called be excited for that as always my socials are in the description join up the discord there's 1500 members i don't know how that happened but 1500 members active in the discord as well as twitter i do look on twitter now and again i've also commented my preferred skin for ross console to design in which ross console actually replied to me and said interesting so hey if we get a big grin anytime soon you can thank me for that. Subscribe if you're new around here. Leave a like on the video. It's hugely appreciated. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support you give me on this channel. And basically any type of social media platform that I'm on creating videos. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate the platform you give me to create this sort of content. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next one.